when I said, like, can, can I get my leg amputated, what was your, like, first reaction? In my mind, I think it was something for the future rather than now. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, that decision was becoming real. real. And that was, I remember that moment. That was quite a hard, hard moment. I was a really enthusiastic kayaker and I had dreams of representing my country at the Olympic Games because I was inspired by London 2012. In August 2013, literally a week before GCSE results day, I was out training in Wales and I capsized, which is a perfectly normal thing to do, um, but I twisted my knee in the process. It just never went away and then in 2016 it got dramatically worse. I went from being able to sort of cope with it to bed bound, like unable to even go to the loo by myself. Complex regional pain syndrome is a neurological pain condition. It's a chronic condition with no cure. I was desperate, like when I was crying in tears, like I was in tears when I couldn't leave my bed and I was watching all my friends go through university. They were traveling, they're graduating. Um, and that's when I started to think I can't do this for 60 plus years. So I'm here to catch up with my pain consultant at the King Edward VII Hospital, Dr Dean Halfpenny, um, to see how I'm doing post my operation. That stocking's looking good, isn't it? I can take it off. It's Fantastic. <laughs> You've got a lot of mobility through that leg. Your balance also seems very good at the moment. Yeah. It was very impressive. I was very doubtful. The integrity of the limb was normal healthy tissue. Um. but. I had known Helena for long enough to realise that for at least 75% of the year she was carrying around a leg that didn't work, mm -hmm. caused her incredible pain constantly and so that was at the forefront of her thinking all the time. I just want to catch up on all the things I've missed, so finish my degree, um, go travelling, regain that active lifestyle I had before and just enjoy life.